Hello, welcome to lesson 26 exercise one. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to get some practice with creating a program for these shortcut arithmetic operators that we have. So we're going to create a variable called number that increments from one to 15. We're going to use a for loop and we're going to output the following table. And it says here that we're going to probably need, create, need to create additional variables to hold the answers. We're going to use the shorthand arithmetic assignments everywhere that I can. So I'm going to create a table and I'm going to increment this number uh, number variable from 1 to 15. And then I'm going to cr create a value here that's going to add the number 2 to the variable number. And then I'm going to subtract the number 2 to this va value called number. Then I'm going to multiply 2 uh, times the value that I have in number, then I'm going to divide by 2. So when the number is equal to 1, I'm going to add 2, subtract 2, multiply 2, and divide 2. Then I'm going to go to the next entry in the table, incrementing this 2 variable to the number 2. And then again, I'm going to add 2, subtract 2, multiply 2, and divide 2. The idea is to get you used to uh, dealing with the for loops, a little more complicated situation, but also to use these shorthand operators uh, there. So. Uh, here's what we're going to do. Let's take it one step at a time. Let me go ahead and clear the output. You can see I've already run the program here. Let me go ahead and clear the output. Now what we're going to have here is inside of our main method, we're going to create an integer called number. This is what we're incrementing. And uh, you can see this loop is going to go from 1 to 15, and we're going to increment it. Now before I go into the loop, I print out basically the column headings. You have number in UM, and then A is equal to number plus 2, B is equal to number minus 2, C is equal to number times 2, and D is equal to number divided by 2. These are the column headings as we have had them displayed up here. So that's, that's being done before we even start the loop. The backslash T here is to give spacing between the column headings. Now we jump into the loop, and inside the loop we create our local variables that are available inside the scope of this loop that we're going to use to hold our intermediate calculations. So we create an integer a, b, and c, and we're going to assign initially the value of our number from our loop into each one of these variables. Because remember, what we're going to do over here, for instance, b is equal to number minus 2. So we need to start with whatever the current number is, and then we'll add 2, subtract 2, multiply, divide 2, and so on. Now the reason we declare D as a double is because we're doing division with D. So we know that some of these numbers uh, are going to be divided by 2 and it's going to lead to decimal points. So for that, that one we're going to declare as a double and, and in the initial value we're going to assign it is going to be again the loop variable. So here this statement says A is equal to A plus 2. That's what's going on here. So we take the variable A and we add 2 to it. Here we take the variable b and we subtract 2 from it. Here we take the variable c and we multiply by 2 uh, and store it back into c. And then d we divide it by 2 and store the result back in d. So these are the shorthand operators that we've learned about in this section. And now we just print out the result. So here is the value of the number. And we have a tab. And then we're printing out uh, when we add 2 to that variable. Then when we subtract 2 and then we multiply 2, and if you go off to the side, this is when we divide by 2. So I think it's about time, that's enough talking, let's go ahead and run the program, and we can see that here are column headings, this is what is printed out before we actually go into the loop, and then we jump into a loop, it goes from 1 to 15. You can see, for instance, this column, I'm adding 2 to the corresponding here. So 4 plus 2 is 6, 10 plus 2 is 12, and so on. Here I'm subtracting 2. 5 minus 2 is 3. 14 minus 2 is 12. Here I'm multiplying by 2. 4 times 2 is 8. Uh, 12 times 2 is 24, for instance. And here I'm dividing by 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 12 divided by 2 is 6. 15 divided by 2 is 7 and a half. So, so here we have our output. We have uh, the number of the loop that we have incrementing from 1 to 15 and then we have the value of a b c and d and they're separated by tabs here and basically as we loop through we're just calculating as the loop increments we're assigning the loop variable to a b c and d and then we're using the arithmetic assignments to add 2 to subtract 2 multiply 2 and divide 2 uh, as we go down. This is a great example of there are a million different ways to do this I could probably come up with a few different ways that you would pull off this table um, by myself. So when you've done this yourself, it might look quite a bit different. 
Um, but just know that part of programming is learning how other people do things as well. So if yours looks a little different, just make sure you understand this and understanding the logic of what's going on uh, will help you uh, as you learn your skills in Java moving forward.